Hello everyone. In our office, in our corporate work, we have to do sometimes weekly analysis, yearly analysis and we need a calendar. So today we'll talk about dynamic calendar and what does dynamic calendar means? If we change the year, the calendar will change accordingly. I am Saurav Jain from bi-analytics.org and today we will learn how can we make a dynamic calendar in Excel. Uh, there are no much very hard formulas, we will use some simple formulas and I will teach you the formula side by side and we will walk through each step. So let's start. First of all we will learn a formula which is called sequence formula S-E-Q-U-E-N-C-E -E S E Q U E N C E. So, what the objective is? Let's learn the sequence formula. We write is equals to S E Q U E N C sequence. Now it's asked for rows first of all. So say if I say ten, and I say enter. So look, I got one to ten in ten rows. Fine. So this was the one thing. Now I again write is equals to sequence. Now I say rows comma column. So if I say 10 comma 3 and I press enter. So look it has done 1, 2, 3. So it started from 1 and ended till 30. So 10 rows, 3 columns. Fine. So this is done with the help of sequence. Now let's again write sequence is equals to sequence tab rows column rows comma column comma start. So we say 10 rows 3 columns. And I say I start with 5. So when I do start with 5, it is taken from 5, 6, 7 and 10 rows and 3 columns. Hope this is clear. Now there is another parameter in the sequence is equals to sequence rows, column, start and steps, number of steps you want to take. So I say 10 rows, comma 5 columns, comma, we say start has to be from 10 and I say sequence step has to be 2 which means 1, 3, 5, 7 like this. So let's do. So look we get 10, 12, 14. So these were the four parameters in the sequence. Hope you are able to understand. So now this we will use in our calendar. So let's start the calendar. So look first of all let's decide which calendar we want. So I will write year and I say I want calendar for 2022 as a reference fine so now first of all we know in a year there are 52 weeks plus one day or two days so we can say 53 weeks and seven days right in a week so first of all write Sunday Monday S U N Sun now I can drag this out till Saturday fine so this is done so look, I know Sunday, Monday, Tuesday like this. So this has been done. Now we know that there are 53 rows and 7 columns. So these are the 7 columns, right? So we can say these are the 7 columns. So I'll write a sequence formula first of all to understand C. Is equals to S E Q sequence. And rows is what? 53 rows for a year. Columns are 7. Fine. Just close this out. So here comes our pattern okay now we don't want this we want to start from the first January of the year right so we can say look this is year so now I will use another formula which is called date formula so I say is equals to D A T E date bracket now it says year comma month comma day year is this one I refer it now I say comma one comma one so this will give me the date right here comes the date now because this has come date I want the starting to be this so what I can use I can just copy this formula and can tweak it in our sequence formula so look what was my start was with the help of one now I will say comma and I press this as a start one fine and now see the magic so we have changed the dates and starting is from 1st January. Let's see. I'll change this to format to dates. 
I press Control 1 and I will write a custom formatting. So see what we want to do is we want to say 2nd January is 0 to JAN. So I write DD dash and write MMM three times. Now let's see. It will show 1st January like this. Okay. So here comes the formatting. We can even make it a little bit better by doing the alignment as a center. Fine. This will look much better. So look, we have started taking 1st January. But the problem is, look, 1st January is not Sunday. So there is a formula which says weekday. So let's apply. Is equals to WWK weekday. And understand this formula, weekday. And if I remember this first date, this comes to be 7. But 7th, what does this mean? Ki 1st January has to be here as a 7th day. Because first day is Sunday, so 7th is Saturday. So we need to start 1st Jan over here. If this is 1st Jan, we'll shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 days. So if I need to start 1st Jan over here, we need to start from the date which is 6 days behind, right? Six. If I do 7 days behind, I'll go to another Sunday, Saturday. Fine. So the idea is, let's tweak this formula. We need this 7. So I can say minus 1. So this is my formula. So weekday. Now, as we know that actually we have to start from which date? That will come after subtracting. Clear. So what I will do is. Let's write the weekday formula again with referring to this is equals to weekday bracket open this comma I don't need comma I just put this and this is actually the number so if I say home and we'll do it number here comes the answer now the trick is that I will refer this formula over here instead of using J2 I will write the formula of J2 Control C and we place it over here in the same formula because we will write with only one formula Control V so now this formula is linked directly to this here fine okay. so now we have this 7 but actually we need to subtract 6 so we can say minus 7 plus 1 so I will copy this formula and in this date, in this date, you have this starting one. I say minus control V and I say plus one. And now see. So you have first January on Saturday, which actually we required. So our calendar is ready. Now I don't need these formulas because they are already linked. So now see, if I change to 2023, my calendar will change accordingly, right? So this has been done. Now it's time to format this calendar. Let's delete a couple of rows to look better. Delete. So now look, let's do some formatting. First of all, Maybe we can increase the font a little bit, say from 11 to 14. We can do now. We can also do something like look at better to home and fill with some colors, say fine. Let's take it now. We'll start something. So, look when we change the year 2021 our calendar change fine but actually our calendar change starts from 1st Jan so now we will apply a custom formatting because we don't want these dates right so we'll apply a conditional formatting to make this stem look good so let's start select the entire area fine and now let's go into home and click on conditional formatting Let's write a new rule and now I'll write a formula which is called year. 
so we know that year is in which cell h2 and our date is in e3 right so i write a custom formula i say is equals to year and i will calculate the year from date e3 this year of the date should not be equal to which one which is h2 h2 and h2 has to be always referring with the absolute reference so what i'll do i will press f4 in it to make it a absolute reference fine this has been done so now whenever the year is not 2021 or 2022 of which we are making calendar what we want we we'll format it and we say let's fill with some light color let's fill with this this color fine and font also something like this maybe this fine okay and we say okay so look we check what i have done hmm. conditional formatting manage rules edit rule or something changed actually i used h2 which was correct it was e5 actually right so i changed it to e5 now see it will work correctly okay so here it comes so look what we have done is we have removed these first two columns right so actually what we have done we have taken a relative reference with the help of e5 formula and every time if e5 is not equal to the current year it will give you what it will give you the different formatting so this has been done now we need to do another formatting that we want a formatting for first month to be different from the second month third month like this So now there's a formula called mod. We can use that mod. Mod formula gives you a remainder. See, see if the month number is one, odd and even numbers. So what we can do is see is equals to mod mod, and if I divide ten comma three, it will give you the remainder one. What it does? If you divide ten by three, it will give the remainder one. So look, whenever we divide a number by two, if it is an odd number, it will give the remainder as one, and whenever it is even number, it will give you a remainder as zero. So we will use this technique to format our months. Let's select it again. Now remember the date is in E5, fine. Now I say home, conditional formatting, fine, and now I say new rule. So this time, what I need to do is I need to formula. Now, I will check the month of that date, and if it is odd number, I will format into different color, and if it is even number, I will format into different colors. Right? Is equals to M O D mod, but you have to mod of the month, right? So I will say M O N T H month bracket, and I will say E five. Which cause is the date? Now close. So now we have done the mod for the month, and I have to do with comma two bracket close. If this is equals to one, which is an odd number, that is Jan, March, May. These are the months. I need to do some formatting. So I click on format, and maybe I can do a formatting like in fill. I can say I want this one. Fine. And in font, I need the back one like this. Let's do OK. So this is the font for all the odd months. Let's click on OK. And look, we got this formatting for all the odd months. Some of these are issue that we don't want this one, so we'll change it by changing the rule format. Let's do it. So what I'll do, I will select it again. Control Shift down. Now I go to Home, Conditional Formatting. Now I say Manage Rules. 
and manage rules i can just change the order of this rule when i do change the order of this what happens here okay so now everything is good and i was able to change this the pattern has been changed the order of the formatting has been changed now we have to write the formatting for the even number so what i can do i can just copy this format directly let's see we go to home conditional formatting manage rules now look this was a rule so i can just say duplicate rule this has been done right now i can just edit this rule edit rule now in edit rule instead of one i can write zero fine now i need to change the color format and now this time i going to fill and instead of this i take this near one fine and in the font i can take this one okay so this should be a little bit different and i click on okay now i again can just move up this one so click okay and look we have a different template ready for a month it doesn't look good so you can change the color so see i don't like this color so what i can do i go again to do this and this time i say home conditional formatting and i see manage rules and this time i want to change one of the color so say i want to change this color i see edit rule fine and instead of this format what i can do in the fill first of all i can take say this one or this one see i take this one okay and in the font i take the same with the dark color this one. okay and i say okay and i apply and say okay so my font has become like this so actually color is not important you can change accordingly whatever the theme you look like but yes this is the way we can just change our calendar fine so look we have done it now we can do a little bit formatting for this also say i want this to be similar patterns so say i am this one or i can take this fine so look we have done this thing and now same way we can repeat this and do home we can make it a border we can make it all borders we can make it like this and maybe increase the font size home eleven like this so now look every time you change this and what you can do you can just fill it also with home let's fill this change to see color like this home and this. so see every time you change this year so 2025 your calendar will change accordingly and see the color is become a dynamic calendar so the idea was to teach you sequence function mod function and how can we use conditional formatting so what steps we have taken first of all we use the sequence function with the help of 53 rows and 7 columns then we need to map this date because this date has to be mapped so i just calculated the week day of the first month first day of the january and then i subtracted the number of days to accordingly that makes the shift that my first day comes on the same week which it is right and then we did a conditional formatting we apply and the template is ready hope you like this thing you can download this template from my website i will share the link and you can play accordingly what i will suggest you what are the steps we have done do it manually with me do it practically one by one step so with this tutorial you have learned what is sequence what is mod function and we used year and week day as a date functions hope you like this video look forward for more videos if you like it please do subscribe my youtube channel thank you very much